Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. And for those of you who are not Muslim watching the video, we ask Allah's guidance to be also upon you. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the life of uh, prophets, uh, you know, in the Bible and in the Quran. And I'm going to be doing it uh, in series. So I'm going to start with one of the most illustrious prophets and the messenger of God that we know who is being celebrated both in Islam and in Christianity and in Judaism uh, by the name Noah. And the Bible portrayed Noah as someone who was an agriculturist and he planted a seed. He planted grapes, he planted so many fruits and stuff like that. And somehow he uh, planted the grape and he made a wine and he drank the wine and he was drunk and he was booze and he began to walk down the street naked with no clothes on, stuck naked. He was lying out in the streets and one of his sons by the name Ham saw him naked and he went and told his other brethren by the name Shem and Japheth and when they came, they came with the clothes and they walked backward to cover the shame of their father who was drunk, lying on the road, you know, naked. So when Noah somehow came back to his senses after the drink and getting booze and lying in the street naked. So he was told that Ham saw him. So he said, curse be upon Canaan. He's going to be a slave to his brethren, you know, Shem and Japheth. Who is Canaan? Canaan was the son of uh, Ham. Why would Noah curse Canaan? Because they say Canaan was the son of Ham, and Ham saw his nakedness. So may the curse of God be upon Canaan and his descendants. I don't understand why Noah will curse someone that have nothing to do with him drinking a wine and get booze. If there is someone that needs to be cursed, I think that person should be Noah. Noah should curse himself for drinking that wine in the first place. Why would he drink a wine? And then you're going to curse your grandson who has never seen your nakedness. And eventually, the Bible exegist used this angle of thought to say that because Canaan was cursed by his uh, grandfather Noah, he became black. His skin turned into black and he was despised and hated by everybody. And that is why we have the black people. This is what they have been saying and what they say during slave trade. This is what the church is portraying that the children of Canaan are those who became the brown skin and somehow they become slaves. So the children of uh, Canaan are the ones that are serving, you know, Shem and uh, Japheth. I don't understand. I just can't understand. The Quran did not say anything like that. The Quran is speaking spiritually on these prophets and messengers of God that are so special and pristine. God always chooses, you know, you know, a prophet from the community who have reached certain level of piety and righteousness. That is what Allah does in the Quran. Allah said, Salamun ala nuh fil alameen innahu min ibadin al mu'mineen. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon Noah in all the worlds. His name is going to resonate all over the world, the Quran said. And he's among those who are believers among our righteous servants. No, but the Bible said, no, he was drunk and he was booze. It, in other words, Allah does not know how to select a prophet. Why would Allah select a prophet that is a drunkard? What is he going to tell me? What is it that I'm going to learn from all these things? Why would Allah go out of his way to show, you know, in his book that Noah was naked, lying down on the street, drinking wine, wine, wine. I don't believe that. In Islam, we don't believe any of those things. But this is something a little bit that I can say. If I should speak about Noah right now, what the, how the Bible portrays him, I'm I don't think you're going to be comfortable. So we're going to digress here and I'm going to enter into Prophet Lot. 
in prophet lord we read in the book of genesis again chapter 19 verse 30 it says when god almighty overturned sodom and gomorrah because of the you know wicked thing they, that they have done in the sight of god almighty so at that time when they when the whole nation was overturned there was no there was lot and there was uh, his wife and two of his daughters so the angel led them to a cave or or a mountain by the name zoa so when they were in the mountain on the way to the mountain the wife of lord she looked backward she looked behind you know at the remnant of the destroyed city of sodom and gomorrah and she became a pillar a pillar of salt that's what the bible said fine but then again when they were in the cave who uh, lot and his two daughters they were in the cave the elder one said to the you know uh, the younger one there are no men in town so why don't we give our father wine to drink so that he will get into us and so they gave uh, uh, Lot wine and he drank. When he drank, his daughter came very close to him and he went to her and he grabbed her. And the Bible said he went on to her. But I'm, I'm not going to say he went, he went on to her what? And he had a sexual relationship with her. That was an old English. And he went into her. Let's call a spade a spade. That's what he did. So the Bible, according to what we read in the book of Genesis, chapter 19, verse 30, you know, Lot had a sexual intercourse with his uh, daughter. The next day, the younger one said, you know what? I'm not going to let it slide. I, I need to get wine. Let's give him wine too. So me too, I'm going to get my share. So they gave him wine again, and he slept with the younger daughter again. So they all became pregnant. And then we have Moabites and other tribes. So if you read in the Bible and you hear something like Moabites, these are the children of incest between father and daughter. That is an incest. What is an incest? An incest is a sexual relationship between two people that are so closely related that they can't even get married. Like mother and son. Father and daughter. Daughter and brother. This is incest. Why would Allah reveal this filth in his book to tell us what? But this is what the Bible portray Noah and they portray many prophets. So Allah said about Lot, Walutan, Wa Ismail, Wa Ilyasa, Wa Yunus, Inna Humin Ibadina Salihim. Most certainly, Prophet Lut and Ismail and Ilyasa, which is Elisha, and Nuh and Yunus, they, these people are prophets of God very closer to me. This is how the Quran portrays this prophet. Allah chooses them beautifully and they are supposed to be the cream of mankind so Allah gave them that you know a, a leverage of being prophet and messenger but the Bible said they didn't do that they slept with their own daughters why would man please I don't believe in all this thing yeah it's up to you to um to to make your choice the Quran or the Bible in Islam we don't believe in any of this thing absolutely this is nonsense according to the Islam why would Allah reveal such a situation in his book what is he telling us what is God telling you and I about Noah, about Lot? In Islam, we don't believe in that. We don't believe that at all. This is a spiritual case. It is meant to be spiritual lesson that we learn from the prophet. The prophet are supposed to be the cream of mankind. Their life have to, you know, shine among the community that God Almighty have sent them so that people will learn and live according to righteous way that Allah have asked them to live. Hadha billahi tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.